Come on, Bane. Come on. Kick it. Kick. Come on. Come on. Come on. My dog is freaking out because of beeps. I've ruined my dog when it comes to beeping sounds from drones, from quads, from anything that beeps, she freaks out. It's kind of funny. Hello and welcome back to Crow Wing FPV. Uh, this video is going to be testing out another way of waterproofing. Pretty simple. Um, this time I am actually going to be using MG Chemicals 419D, which is an acrylic conformal. And it smells very much like nail polish. So it might actually just be an expensive big bottle of nail polish. Uh, I don't know exactly what the ingredients are or what the percentages are or how much of one thing and how little of another. However, it smells almost identical. I mean, you sniff one, you sniff the other. If you're blindfolded, you would not even know the difference. You would think it's just nail polish. Anyway, so I took the acrylic conformal, which smells like acrylic nail polish, and I placed it onto a one of my all-in-ones. And you'll see here in just a second that I didn't record it, unfortunately, but you'll see that this stuff actually comes off really, really easily. This was the liquid electrical tape in my previous video that I put on here. Actually, this was, yeah, th this was actually using uh, the brush on liquid electrical tape. And you just pull it off on a corner and you can just peel it right off like, well, kind of like skin, I guess. And it comes off really, really easily uh, and clean. Uh, but it's not going to come off like, as you're flying or anything like that. I mean, you have to kind of work at it and then, then peel it. Um, all right, so let's get to the next part of the video, which is applying the acrylic and testing it in the water. This just shows you how easily this comes off. And, and unfortunately, I, I, didn't, I didn't record it as I was taking it off. But I think that this will kind of speak for itself in a sense that it is very, very easy to remove this from, from anything you coat. Uh, all I really did was just, I peeled up a little corner here and it just peeled off in one piece. Comes off very, very simple. Did it on the bottom as well. And now this is ready for the next test. Okay, so now that I have this off, I'm going to apply the MG Chemicals 419D, which is the uh, acrylic conformal coating. Now this is nothing under the lid. It comes with a couple of these to, to do your coating. So let's see how this works. And man, it, smells, it, it smells just like nail polish. I, there's like absolutely no difference in the smell between this and nail polish, which gets me thinking that maybe it's just acrylic nail polish and they're charging a lot more for it. Although this brush does hold a little bit more than the type of brush you get with nail polish. All right, so there's that. Also want to plug this back in. Um, yeah, so you can see like right here, uh, I have some of the coating from the liquid electrical tape. And it just simply peels right off. And like I said in my previous video, it's not hard to do to remove, but it's also not easy as well. So it's actually kind of the, the, the perfect combination of easy and hard, if that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. It's not too easy to remove it, but it's also not that hard to remove it. So when you need to remove it, you just remove it. So I want to make sure I get all around these pins here. And 
get it down in there. I think a lot of my issues are because I don't get enough in there or there's some gaps where moisture gets into and causes some shorts. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this dry up. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. I do have a heater going in here that has brought the temperature from about 45 to about 55. So that should help. But if it's anything like nail polish, it should dry pretty quick. Well, this is all dried up using acrylic conformal. And... I think it's dry. Yeah, looks dry. So let's try it. Uh, let's see, battery. Let's go. And let's go at it. All right, there's the lights. And it freaked out a little bit there, but not much. I mean, the water is on it. Moving the water around. And everything looks pretty good. So, like I kind of thought, it, it was going to work. Okay, so you saw that it worked. Um, it dried really, really fast. I, I was pretty impressed with how fast it this actually dried. I would say it actually dried faster than um, uh, nail polish. But again, I do have it warmer in here than I did last time when I was using uh, the nail polish. So that could have something to do with it. Plus, it's warmer out right now than it was when I did the nail polish. Um, so... Uh, I think that might have something to do with it. But yeah, it works. Uh, you got a little bit of a stutter there at the beginning when I first dunked it. But again, th this is like extreme um, testing when you're taking these and you're dunking it in water. If I was to sit there and spritz it with some water to kind of imitate uh, rain or something like that or a splash, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that these would have absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, so yeah, it worked very, very well and we'll see how it works um i am going to test it out on with with heat on a vtx um i don't really want to burn up a vtx so it might have to be a little while till it's warmer outside like early spring or something like that where i can really test it out on a vtx to see if the acrylic handles up to the heat of them i, I don't want to sit here and, and just let a, a a vtx just burn up I mean, that, there's no point in that. I mean, maybe I'll do it. It might be fun. I mean, I could put a little fan on it and stuff like that, but I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe that'll be my next video or something. So anyway, thanks again for watching and hit the like and subscribe and see you in the next video.